So we're a couple of months away from Election Day, and this morning Governor Greg Abbott is launching an attack ad aimed at his Democratic challenger Beto O'Rourke, who he says wants to defund the police. Cleo Green with us right now. Okay, you've been digging into this. Cleo O'Rourke's campaign says the governor's claim isn't true. Yes, the ad, it, well, it launches today. It's 30 seconds, and according to Governor Greg Abbott's campaign, well, they say that it costs about $4 million for this ad uh, to be aired statewide. Now, it was posted on YouTube. Take a look. Beto O'Rourke's answer is to defund and dismantle the police. He wants to punish the police, not the criminals. Yeah, the attack ad is based on O'Rourke's comments on a podcast from June 2020 at the height of Black Lives Matter movement when demonstrators flooded the streets to protest police brutality. Now, at recent town hall meetings, O'Rourke has said that he does not support defunding the police, and he wants to make sure that they have the resources and training that is needed. This is another top talker this morning and getting a lot of clicks on our website as well. A popular Republican referring to Judge Glenn Whitley will back a Democrat for one of Texas's top jobs. He also will not endorse a Republican running to replace him after he retires. Now you can get the full scoop here on our political podcast called Yolitics. Glenn Whitley, the top elected official in Tarrant County, has clashed with Lieutenant Governor Pan Patrick, Dan Patrick for years. And in the podcast, he cited GOP-led state legislation over property taxes as a key reason for endorsing Mike Collier. Take a listen. Mike is, one, he's a bean counter like me. He worked for Price Waterhouse. He also worked for Exxon, so he understands the oil business. And I just think he's someone who understands local control. And that's what I'm looking for. All right, you can listen to that now wherever you get your podcast. Look for y'all ticks. Now we know uh, leading up to the election, Twitter is definitely going to be a hot spot. Dan Patrick uh, replying to that and responding, saying, hey, it is no surprise Judge, Whit Judge Whitley, who made Tarrant County property taxes among the highest in Texas, doesn't get it. People are being taxed out of their homes by big spending. Local governments, they both are two of a kind, tax hiking and big spenders. I'll send it back to you, Kara.